very frustrating to see, you know, a child suffer. Keisha Edwards is thankful to see her kids playing outside, now fully recovered from COVID-19. Her six-year-old didn't have any symptoms. Her 13-year-old had a headache and fever for about five days. I thank God that it, it could have been the other way around, you know, but he saw fit. So yeah, I'm, I'm very, very grateful. She knows it could have been worse. We're seeing a lot more emergency room visits. We're seeing a lot more admissions. We still have a fair number of admissions to our floor and to our pediatric intensive care unit that are the 12 and above. Novant Health reports more infections and transmission among patients younger than 12 who can't be vaccinated. When you have over 25% of the cases are now pediatric, we are definitely seeing those numbers rise and we expect over the next few weeks probably for those numbers to continue to increase. Dr. Eugene Doherty, the medical director of Novant Health Hemby Children's Hospital, said the system is limited because of the strain. Seeing co-infections, so we're seeing COVID, we're seeing other infections such as RSV that are really, really prominent right now. Keisha plans to send her kids back to school, but she's worried. I got to send my child to school not knowing if she's going to come home sick and bring it back to me or back to my fiance, you know, you just don't know. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very, very um, concerning.